Hey guys, it's Duna again. Thanks for tuning in. If you've been following our five day yoga challenge, you should already be feeling the benefits of yoga. If you're still pretty new to yoga and you're still a little confused, don't worry, it does take practice. So just try your best, really listen to my cues um, if you really need to follow my body as well. Okay, so today we're gonna need two blocks. And again, if you don't have blocks, anything like a block will work. So books, something like that, okay? So you're going to, we're gonna start in a seated position, hero's pose. So if this is too much for your knees, then I suggest just sitting on your sit bone. So this is totally fine, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna grab your block, one block or two, and you're gonna place it between your feet. You're gonna sit all the way down on top of the block. Then just make sure all 10 toes are curled under and all 10 toes are pointing back. Draw your knees together, hug the inner thighs in. From here, just rest your hands on top of your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Stack your shoulders over hips and let your chest lift up but draw the front ribs in. Close your eyes and take this moment to breathe into your body. So just like every practice again, we always like to start off with setting the tone, the breath of practice. Okay, we're gonna take about three rounds of breath here. Together, inhale. Slow exhale. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Good, last one, inhale. Grow your spine, grow your sideways, sit up nice and tall. Then as you exhale, melt any tension off your shoulders. Then gently blink your eyes open. Today we're gonna to be focusing on back bends. So rule number one in our back bends, we never wanna dump into our lower back. We wanna find a length through the lower back. So focus on drawing the belly in and all the way up towards the sternum. So you're lengthening the lower back, then start to arch through your upper and mid back. So finding that thoracic extension, okay? So you're slightly drawing the shoulder blades together. From here, you're gonna stretch your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, keep your palms connected. Roll your shoulder heads back even more as you press your fist down towards the floor. Again, keep drawing the shoulder blades up into your chest. Lift your chest up to lengthen the lower back. Feel free to lean your head back, maybe gaze up. Last inhale here. Breathe in. And exhale, slowly come back to center. Keep your hands interlaced. Place your hands next to your right hip. From here, feel free to close your elbows as best as you can and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. If you already lost your breath, please come back to it. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From here, roll your chin down towards your chest and then switch your hands towards your left hip. Draw your forearms in towards each other and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Feeling that nice stretch into the right side of your right neck. Feel free to gently press the right shoulder away from the cheek. Good, and from here, roll your head down. Bring your hands behind you, then release your hands and interlace your fingers on top of your head. Close your elbows and round your back this time. Hollow out your belly, draw the elbows in, and you're slightly pressing the back of your neck, so there should be a nice soft skin. You're pulling the skin forward. 
This time getting the stretch into the back of your neck and your cervical spine. Okay, we're gonna take some seated cat and cow poses here, warming up through the spine and the front side of the body. As you inhale, open your elbows, lift your chest, draw the forearms back, lean your head back. So remember, you're not dumping into the lower back, you're lifting your lower back up and drawing the shoulder blades together, getting that back bend through the upper back. Last one, exhale, cat pose. Round your upper back, hollow out your belly, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, come back to center, release your hands and plant your palms in front of you. Move your block to the side, then come into tabletop position. Feel free to step your right foot back, getting that stretch in the back of your knee, all the way down to the back of your ankle. Good. Drop your right knee, stretch out your left leg. So I like to push my hands against the mat, slightly pulling the hands forward, leaning my body weight back. Good. Come back to tabletop. Then stepping into downward facing dog. So remember in your down dog, keep your fingers spread out wide. Index fingers points forward. I like to always step back into my high plank. And then from there, keeping your hands and feet where it's at, push your hips up to downward facing dog. A lot of times, we like to shorten the downward facing dog. So always check in with your alignment by shifting your weight into high plank. So again, I'm going to do that for you. I'm in high plank, shoulders over wrist, and then I push my hips up and back. Good. From here, feel free to bend one knee at a time. Warm up through the hamstrings, the calves, the Achilles. Maybe take some shoulder dips. Get more into the spine and the chest. And then let's come back to a still do down dog. Okay, again, you're more than welcome to bend your knees as much as you need. The goal is to lengthen your spine rather than rounding your back. Okay, so in down dog, we want to create that flat back. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk your feet behind your wrist. Grab opposite elbows. Feel free to bend your knees a lot. Lift your toes and hinge your weight forward. Again, without gripping into the toes. Feel free to rock side to side here. Little weight into your heels. See if you can lift the hamstrings. Pull your chest down. Relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. Release your hands option to walk your feet together. So whenever your feet's together, you want to bring your big toes to touch, heel sliver apart, so the knife edges of your feet are parallel. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, either hands on top of your shins or even on top of your thighs. Just make sure you're not rounding the back or finding length. Exhale, hinge from your hips and forward fold. Again, feel free to bend your knees a lot. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, arms above your head, okay? Keep your shoulders relaxed. Remember, you're not sticking out your booty, arching your lower back. See if you could tuck the tailbone and scoop the pelvis. Find your pelvis neutral. So the core is strongly engaged. If you feel your core it should be nice and hard. Firm up through the quads. Lift your sideways a little taller. Then as you exhale, take a baby back bend. Open your elbows. So remember, you're not dumping into your lower back. You're lengthening your tailbone down, then lifting your lower back up into the shoulder blades, up into the chest. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other to open up the chest. Ex inhale, mountain pose, rise all the way up. 
exhale forward folds bend your knees hinge from the hips lengthen your lower back and lower all the way down inhale halfway lift create a flat back exhale chaturanga dandasana i'll go ahead and go through this one slowly again plant your palms walk your feet back okay so you're in your high plank remember you're more than welcome to stay in your high plank. Feel free to drop to your knees as you hinge forward, coming into your mid plank. Otherwise, keep your knees lifted, then same action. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, with your elbows in by your side, lower halfway. Untuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Put micro bend your elbows so you don't lock the elbows, especially if you're, you're a hyperextender. So always put that micro bend. Roll the shoulder heads back, broaden through the collarbones. Keep your legs active, so pull your thighs up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips go high. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. All right, friends, let's move through our sun a flow, breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Take as many steps as you need to get up here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend, open your elbows, broaden through your chest, maybe gaze up, lift your chest a little higher. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, follow your exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, this is one breath all the way to your mid plank. So once you finish your exhale, wait for your inhale for your back bend. Upward facing dog. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you see how slow we're moving? You want to always stay connected to the breath. Never rush through the movements. If you're moving too fast, then that just means you're breathing way too fast. So slow it down here. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, shift forward back into your high plank. Let's drop to the knees. Uncurl your toes. With the elbows in, just like your mid plank, your chaturanga, you're going to lower down halfway, then lower all the way down to your belly. Keep your hands right underneath your shoulders. Draw your elbows in. Roll your shoulder heads back to broaden through the chest. Zip tie your legs together. Lift your kneecaps, lift your thighs. On your inhale, lift your chest for cobra pose. Keep the elbows in. Then from here, try not to move your hands. 
you're just dragging your hands against the mat back towards your hips. Feel your chest pull through. So again, we're lengthening the lower back and we're creating that back bend through our mid and upper back. Exhale, lower. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, cobra. Lift your chest. Be light on your hands, but drag your hands back. Push your shoulders back towards your hips. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Press the tops of your foot down. Gaze is slightly down so the back of your neck is long. No crunching in the back of your neck. Exhale, lower. From here, stack your elbows right underneath your shoulders for Sphinx Pose. So continuing on our back bends. Back bends are one of my favorite only because what are we doing all day long? We're sitting by our desk, in the car, and most likely we're all hunching over our phones and our computers, always rounding the upper back. So taking this moment to reverse that, fixing our posture, releasing tension through our neck and our shoulders. Okay, so your sphinx pose, you're firmly pressing your elbows into the floor. Again, creating that thoracic extension, getting rid of too much flexion in our spine, the hunching in our back. Last inhale here. And then exhale, slowly lower. Good. Plant your palms underneath your shoulders. Rise up to tabletop. Keep your knees right over your hips. And let's walk your hands forward. Drop your chest and drop your forehead for puppy pose. Again, getting into that thoracic extension, but this time adding a nice stretch into the shoulders. If this is too easy for you, maybe play around with bringing your chin down. Gaze forward and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Be good. Replant your palms. And then let's go ahead and have a seat on our sit bones. Okay, so we did a lot of spinal back bends today. We always wanna find a nice counter balance for that. So because we worked on that extension, let's focus on lengthening the spine now. And then we'll do one twist to balance out the spine. Okay, so you're gonna keep your legs straight, option to bend your knees, keep your big toes to touch, really important. Don't let the toes fall out. Okay, as you inhale, sit up tall. As you exhale, hinge from your hips. Again, lengthening the lower back. You're not just dumping your spine, right? You're lengthening the lower back, reaching forward with your chest, lengthening through the upper back. And then once you've found your edge, then feel free to relax your head. Now there's gonna be a slight rounding through the back and that's totally fine as long as the lower back is nice and long. If you need to bend your knees even more, feel free to. Remember, every day your body feels different, so your hamstrings might feel tighter today, your back might feel tighter today. Listen to your body. Inhale, slowly rise. You're gonna cross your right foot over your left thigh. Option one, wrap your left arm around your right knee or hook your left elbow on top of right thigh. Place your right hand behind your lower back. Inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, twist over to the right. Good, notice if you're relaxing your core and notice if there's arching in your lower back, engage the core and slightly flatten the lower back as you twist so you don't overdo it. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. Drop that right leg, cross your left foot over. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, peel your left shoulder back. Try to twist from your ribs, even twist from your navel. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, slowly release. All right, yogis, let's set up for our Shavasana. You guys did awesome today. 
your well-deserved Shavasana. So just take about three breaths or so to get comfortable in your Shavasana. If there's any blocks or straps touching you, go ahead and just move it to the side. Adjust your shoulders, adjust your hips and your legs. All right, close your eyes. Let's take a breath in. And a breath out. Final Shavasana. I encourage you to stay here for at least two minutes. Let go of your breathing. All right, friends, again, please feel free to stay in your Shavasana. Thank you so, so much for tuning in again for our sixth day of our yoga challenge. Can't wait to see you guys back for our seventh day. Namaste.